Wait for your brother, your sisters, and your mother to leave the apartment. You've already told them that you're feeling too sick to go to Union City to visit that Dia who likes to squeeze your nuts. He's gotten big, she'll say. And even though your moms knew you weren't sick, you stuck to your story until finally she said, Go ahead and stay, Marcriado. Clear the government cheese from the refrigerator. If the girls from the terrace stack the boxes behind the milk. If she's from the park or Society Hill, hide the cheese in the cabinet above the oven, way up where she'll never see. Leave yourself a reminder to get it out before morning where your moms will kick your ass. Take down any embarrassing photos of your family in the campo, especially the one with the half-naked kids dragging a goat on a rope leash. The kids are your cousins, and by now they're old enough to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Hide the pictures of yourself with an afro. Make sure the bathroom is presentable. Put the basket with all the crapped-on toilet paper under the sink. Spray the bucket with Lysol, then close the cabinet. Shower, comb, and dress. Sit on the couch and watch TV. If she's an outsider, her father will be bringing her, maybe her mother. Her parents don't want her seeing any boys from the terrace. People get stabbed in the terrace. But she's strong-headed, and this time, she will get her way. If she's a white girl, you're sure you'll at least get a hand job. The directions you gave her were in your best handwriting, so her parents won't think you're an idiot. Get up from the couch and check the parking lot. Nothing. If the girl's local, don't sweat it. She'll flow over when she's good and ready. Sometimes she'll run into her friends, and a whole crowd will show up. And even though that means you ain't getting shit, it will be fun anyway, and you'll wish these people would come over more often. Sometimes the girl won't flow over at all, and the next day in school she'll smile and say, Sorry. And you'll believe her and be stupid enough to ask her out again. Wait, and after an hour, go out to your corner. The neighborhood is full of traffic. Give one of your boys a shout, and when he says, Are you still waiting on that bitch? Say, Hell yeah. Get back inside. Call her house, and when her father picks up, ask if she's there. He'll ask, Who is this? Hang up. He sounds like a principal or a police chief, the sort of dude with a big neck who never has to watch his back. Sit and wait. By the time your stomach's ready to give out on you, a Honda or maybe a Jeep pulls in, and out she comes. Hey, you'll say. Look, she'll say. Um, my mom wants to meet you. She's got herself all worried about nothing. Don't panic. Say, hey, no problem. Run a hand through your hair like the white boys do, even though the only thing that runs easily through your hair is Africa. She will look good. The white girls are the ones you want the most, but the out-of-towners are usually black, black girls who grew up with ballet and Girl Scouts who have three cars in their driveway. If she's a halfy, don't be surprised that her mother is white. Say hi. She'll say, Hi. And you'll see that you don't scare her, not really. She will say that she needs easier directions to get out, and even though she already has the best directions in her lap, give her new ones. Make her happy. You have choices. If the girls from around the way take her to El Cibao for dinner, order everything in your busted-up Spanish. Let her correct you if she's Latina and amaze her if she's black. If she's not from around the way, Wendy's will do. As you walk to the restaurant, talk about school. A local girl won't need stories about the neighborhood, but the other ones might. Supply the story about the loco who'd been storing canisters of tear gas in his basement for years. How one day the canisters cracked and the whole neighborhood got a dose of the military strength stuff. Don't tell her that your moms knew right away what it was, that she recognized its smell from the year the United States invaded your island. Hope that you don't run into your nemesis, Howie, the Puerto Rican kid with the two killer mutts. He walks them all over the neighborhood, and every now and then the mutts corner themselves a cat and tear it to shreds, Howie laughing as the cat flips up in the air, its neck twisted around like an owl, red meat showing through the soft fur. If his dogs haven't cornered a cat, he will walk behind you and say, Hey, Junior, is that your new fuck, buddy? Let him talk. Howie weighs about 200 pounds and could eat you if he wanted. At the field, he will turn away. 
He has new sneakers and doesn't want them muddy. If the girl's an outsider, she'll hiss now. What a fucking asshole! A homegirl would have been yelling back at him the whole time, unless she was shy. Either way, don't feel bad that you didn't do anything. Never lose a fight on a first date, or that will be the end of it. Dinner will be tense. You are not good at talking to people you don't know. A halfie will tell you that her parents met in the movement. Back then, she'll say people thought it was the radical thing to do. It will sound like something her parents made her memorize. Your brother once heard that one too and said, "Man, that sounds like a whole lot of Uncle Tom and to me." Don't repeat this. Put down your hamburger and say, "It must have been hard." She will appreciate your interest. She will tell you more. Black people. She will say, "Treat me real bad. That's why I don't like them." You'll wonder how she feels about Dominicans. Don't ask. Let her speak on it, and when you've finished eating, walk back through the neighborhood. The skies will be magnificent. Pollutants have made Jersey sunsets one of the wonders of the world. Point it out. Touch her shoulder and say, "That's nice, right?" Get serious. Watch TV, but stay alert. Sip some of the rum your father left in the cabinet, which nobody touches. She'll drink enough to make her brave. A local girl may have hips and a thick ass, but she won't be quick about letting you touch. She has to live in the same neighborhood as you do. She might just chill with you and then go home. She might kiss you and then go, or she might, if she's reckless, give it up. But that's rare. Kissing will suffice. A white girl might give it up right then. Don't stop her. She'll take her gum out of her mouth and stick it to the plastic sofa covers, and then move close to you. You have nice eyes, she might say. Tell her that you love her hair, her skin, her lips, because in truth you love them more than you love your own. She'll say, "I like Spanish guys." And even though you've never been to Spain, say, "I like you." You'll sound smooth. You'll be with her until about eight thirty, and then she'll want to wash up. In the bathroom, she will hum a song from the radio, and her waist will keep a beat against the lip of the sink. Imagine her old lady coming to get her. What she would say if she knew her daughter had just lain under you and blown your name, pronounced with her eighth grade Spanish, into your ear. While she's in the bathroom, call one of your boys and say "Lo hice, cabrón," or just sit back on the couch and smile. But usually, usually it won't work this way. Be prepared. She will not want to kiss you. Just cool it. She'll say, "The halfy might lean back, breaking away from you." She will cross her arms, say, "I hate my tits." Stroke her hair, but she will pull away. Oh, I don't like anybody to touch my hair. She will say. She will act like somebody you don't know. In school, she is known for her attention-grabbing laugh, as high and as far-ranging as a gull. But here, she will worry you. You will not know what to say. You're the only kind of guy who asks me out. She'll say. You and the black boys. Say nothing. Let her button her shirt. Let her comb her hair. The sound of it stretching like a sheet of fire between you. When her father pulls in and beeps, let her go without too much of a goodbye. She won't want it. During the next hour, the phone will ring. You will be tempted to pick it up. Don't watch the shows you want to watch without a family around to debate you. Don't go downstairs. Don't fall asleep. It won't help. Put the government cheese back in its place before your mother kills you.